before cleaning the oil control baffles and the sump pan, ensure that you remove these oil control windows. They are made of rubber and are not compatible with any type of solvent-based cleaning fluids typically used for this process. Clean the engine's oil pickup tube and inspect for cracks. All of the original sealant must be removed from the flange on the oil sump pan as well as the flange on the engine's block. If you choose to use a razor blade for this, there are other suitable means that can also be utilized. Ensure this area is not scraped uh, to include any imperfections that can and will cause oil leakage. Okay, now that we've got our oil pan all cleaned up here, you want to inspect to make sure that yours doesn't look like this particular baffle that we've gotten here where one of the tabs that holds the oil control windows has been broken off. We're going to end up replacing this particular baffle because this has been broken and it does not hold this very well. This could cause you some problems if this piece was to go ahead and tear off, fall on the bottom of the oil sump, and then get sucked up against your pickup tube. If that happens, it is game over. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and remove this baffle. There's three six millimeter by one fasteners inside the baffle here. Okay, I'm removing the third and final fastener here from the baffle that holds it to the oil pan. Once you pull that off, it comes apart like so. And you will notice that there are some spacers here. And these spacers are going to get pulled out of this baffle and they're going to get flipped around, turned on the other side, and that's going to help us marry everything back together from our good uh, supply source out back, we picked up one of our nice core pieces that actually has all eight of its tabs. There's four on each side. None of these are broken or fractured. Okay. If you do have one of your tabs broken, you certainly are going to want to basically search for that and find it either in the oil filter or somewhere in the engine because if you don't find it, it will find you at a very inopportune time. Okay, now you can see I'm basically using the improvised tool here just to pop these spacers out of this pickup uh, baffle, just like so. They pop out real easily. Okay, with those spacers removed, we're actually going to take these and we're just going to insert them back on the top side. We're going to put them right back in place on the top side. Okay, I'm just installing the third and final one of the spacers back on the opposite side of the baffle from where it came from. You can use a pair of pliers to assist with this if necessary, or you can just take your little improvised tool and install them also, just like that. Either way you want to do it. So now these are placed opposite from where they were from the factory, and we're ready to go to the next step. Okay. In this procedure, we're going to be modifying the factory baffle to, it, to basically flow more oil uh, in, a, in the lower portion of the baffle because now we've actually ended up moving this baffle up one quarter of an inch where the spacer is going to go underneath it. So we need to make sure our pool of oil can spill over this area to get back into, into the pickup tube area so that it can be picked up and distributed by the oil pump. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this down, these windows, down to this level that you see here that's just factory cast into this piece or molded into this piece. And then you're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. You can see it does not have the shelf that's molded into it like on this side. So I'm just going to begin with a Dremel uh, with this sandpaper roll here by taking that material away. Okay, now we've finished with the modification of the windows. This unit here is the one that I've just finished our modification to. As you can see, these windows have been lowered. This one is the stock one that we threw out uh, a few minutes ago that was bad, that had the broken tab. So this is unmodified here. This is modified. So in, like I said, you'll see something similar on this other side. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and finish with this portion of the installation procedure by putting the baffle into the oil pan to take the baffle spacer and we're going to insert it into the 
oil pan. As you can see, they're basically mirror images of each other. This is a nice, snug, tight fit, so you may have to convince yours into position, but it's not a really big deal that this be absolutely 100% sealed up because it's not even from the factory. You just want to make sure that it's down all the way. You'll be able to tighten this up with the fasteners that we have gave you with the kit, and these fasteners are longer by the distance of the thickness of this baffle spacer. So we have included longer hardware already for you here. Okay, I've got my baffle spacer all the way down against the oil pan. Now I'm going to introduce these three spacers. They're aluminum rings that go in each fastening position, like so. Then I'm going to introduce the plastic oil baffle that has had the inserts flipped around as we illustrated earlier in this production. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and apply some blue Loctite to these fasteners that were supplied with the kit. And we're going to begin installing them. Okay, I'm just finishing up the installation of the third and final bolt that will hold the plastic baffle against the baffle spacer. You just want to put medium torque on these, yet again with the blue Loctite like we showed. Okay, so now you want to inspect and make sure you don't have any foreign debris in here. This is something that's a critical aspect because if you got fasteners or anything laying in this oil pan and you install it, you're going to have a bad day. The engine's not going to like that. So we also, we're going to go ahead and wash this out on the inside, make sure there's nothing inside there. Then we're going to just install the factory oil control flaps back into their position inside the baffle. I'm finishing the application of the Loctite 518 onto the seating surface of our deep sump spacer. Now you'll see that we've already done that to the oil pan, okay? And you've got to pay attention to ensure that you apply this to the what's going to be the top of the spacer. So when you apply it, you're, you're going to have, so you want to apply it to the bottom of the engine block. So this is much easier. So as you can see, this will marry directly on top of the oil pan as so. All right, with that, we're ready to go install this unit as a whole assembly along with the pickup tube and its spacer back onto our Boxster.